Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Cloak and Daggers here, and we are back in Entropia Universe. And today's topic is going to be my favorite place to hunt curbs. And it is actually a lot of people's favorite place to hang out and hunt these bad boys, and that is none other than Bora's. It's also a great sweating spot if you're looking to pick some sweat up for yourself. But I really like hunting here. Not only do I get globals here on a very regular basis on the curbs, but it's also just a really neat place in general to hang out at. It's got this kind of like jungle vibe going on with the green grass and like the big like jungle trees that tower up into the sky towards the moons. It's uh, it's real cool. It's, I like looking at it. There's some lakes hidden in there. If you got decent graphics and you get the nice water effects going, really pretty to look at. But uh, yeah, so this is where we're going to be hunting here today. I need more animal muscle oil so I can go and craft some more simple one conductors. I have a decent amount, but not quite enough to do a good crafting run for video to give you some halfway okay numbers. So I decided to go hunting instead. And this is where we're going to do it. Hopefully we can get a couple globals, maybe... I'd be happy with at least one, um, as always, even if we can just break even would be nice as well. Um, but you know what? It's fun and that's why we do it. And if we make a little bit of money, fantastic. If not, well, we kind of were expecting it anyways. So let's head out there and there's a pretty decent size. Oops. There we go. Um, there's a pretty big herd out this way. And kind of loops back towards, there's another little lake over that side of the uh, teleporter here. Um, anywhere where you see the alien spaceships, there's one over there and then there's another one there. You're going to find some fairly high level robots, so I suggest staying away from them. Um, if you head out towards the northwest, you, you should be pretty okay. Actually, that's where we're going to head out for this for our adventure here. And we're just going to kind of plop ourselves down. Um, don't be surprised if there's a lot of hunters out here. Depending on the time of day or when you go out, uh, there might be a lot of curbs or the herd might be pretty thinned out from everybody hunting here. But either way, you should still do fairly well. All right, so for today's Kerbos hunt, I'm using 50 peds of universal ammo. And I will be hunting with the LR20. Haven't quite maxed it out yet. We're still working on it. It might be a little bit overkill for these mobs, but it gets the job done and it's not too inefficient for this situation. So we're going to rock it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Bora's is a very awesome place uh, in general. It's actually probably one of the best teleporters you can have uh, in your teleporter list, I guess you would call it. But uh, the reason for that is uh, for new players, it's a great place to come and start sweating. There's usually a group of people there at all times, or at least a couple of bots. Uh, the curb mobs there are have a ton of health, but they don't hit too hard. So if you don't have the evade built up or the, the health built up, um, you don't get demolished right away like you would if you were sweating over at Club Royal, where those mobs are a lot bigger. And you usually need a good amount of people sweating. Uh, the hunting around Boras is fantastic. You got the, the curbs, which seem to global more than any other mob that I hunt and a lot of people will agree with that. Granted the, the globals aren't super big but it is nice to see those swirlies once in a while. Um, not saying that you're going to get one every time you go hunting there or that you're always going to come out with a profit hunting at Bora's. Um, a lot of times I lose ped. I might today. We don't know. We'll find out at the end of this video so make sure you stick around for that. But overall in general it's I really like hunting here. Uh, the scenery is beautiful. There's lots to look at. I like the, the hidden lakes in between the, the, the green rolling hills with the, the jungle vibe that I was kind of talking about earlier. It's a very pretty place on intro, um, planet Calypso. Um, the, the mining there is pretty decent. I don't do a lot of mining anymore, which I should actually probably get back into that a little bit. But uh, I've I've never gotten like nothing there um but i've i've always kind of done okay mining so give it a try and if you are a hardcore miner and you do like mining around boras let me know and what do you find around there i always found a lot of like uh end matters uh not so much the ores 
in that particular area. But um, I'm not super high. Uh, I'm not a super high level uh, miner, so that might be part of it. But uh, that's probably worth a try, worth a shot. But yeah, so that's that's kind of my my secret gem. My it's not really a secret. I think a lot of people know that Boras is is pretty good for hunting, especially for the curbs there. And it's a lot of people like that teleporter, that that area of the map. So it's I guess it's not really a secret, but. Um, if you don't know about it, go check it out. Get a ride over there, either from your mentor or from a friend. Somebody that has a vehicle that can get you over there. Ask somebody in chat if they can give you a ride. Uh, it's not super far from Camp Icarus, but it's probably a lot farther than you want to walk. It would take you maybe a couple hours, an hour or so, if you survive. <laughs> Especially as new players. It could it could be a little treacherous. Um, but anyways, enough about Boras. Let's just kind of talk about Entropy Universe in general. I don't have a whole lot of news to bring you, uh, other than summer starting to come to a close. The summer migration, I think, is over. And you know what that means? Halloween mayhem is right around the corner. And we're going to start seeing a bigger influx of people coming back, because a lot of people, including myself, usually take breaks during the summer just because they're busy and don't have enough much time to play video games. And just there's not a lot of events other than the summer migration going on in general i was quite surprised myself today when i logged on and to see so many people at boras and i was over at uh, twin peaks briefly too and this i'm recording this middle of the week middle of the day ish i got done with work early so i decided to shoot this video and normally it's pretty quiet not a lot of people online at this time of day at least for me um so there's definitely more people playing, which is fantastic. It's it's good to see Entropia Universe growing, the community growing. And uh, every day I got people commenting on my videos, letting me know that they're new new people, and that's why they've been watching my videos, which is fantastic. That's why I make these uh, guide videos to help people out. I'm I'm glad I can um, help the new ones out and and share my little bit of knowledge of Entropia Universe with you. And, it, and it's nice to hear from the, the Ubers who also play and, and watch my videos um, as well. But uh, yeah, so the Tropius seems to be doing pretty well. The the deeds are I want to touch on just real briefly. Um, I haven't really looked, checked mine in a couple of months. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised with a nice little stack of ped waiting for me. Um, that's always nice uh, when you come back from a break. But um, one thing that kind of shocked me was the lack of Crystal Palace shares that are up for sale. Three months ago, when I was still playing, there was thousands of them roughly up for sale, and, and the prices kind of varied. We're down to like 800 on the market that are up for sale, and it's about 19 and a half to 20 ped. It's the asking price per, per share. I was actually going to grab a couple, but I didn't have enough ped for it, so I went hunting instead. Um, but it seems like they're paying out pretty decent. I, that's where a good chunk of my, um, deed money came from, as well as the Arcady Underground also seems to be putting out some decent ped as well, which is great for us. Uh, well, as long, <laughs> as long as you're holding deeds, which are a great investment. If you haven't bought some deeds already, I would recommend and maybe try to pick up a couple. It's definitely a long-term kind of return. I mean, granted, you can always sell them and, and get your ped back out of them. So they sort of pay for themselves right away. But I think that's all I really wanted to talk about today. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to just speed up this video a little bit and play some music. And I will see you at the end of the video where we tally up our profits or losses. See you in a bit.
All right, I am back from my Kerbos hunt, and we're going to find out how well I did. I don't think I did that great. Um, maybe if we're lucky, I broke even. It uh, wasn't looking very promising. <laughs> uh, I did have a couple decent hits, but nothing too big. So remember, this was a 50 pet hunt, and we came out with a grand total of 37.58, plus armor DK. Plus gun DK. So we lost pretty significantly on this hunt. Um, but again, not surprised. I just uh, expect to take a loss when I do go out hunting. And if I do hit something big, that's awesome. We didn't hit any globals either. We did find that crazy level 17 curb just uh, down the hill from the TP. Uh, I haven't ever seen a level 17 curb uh, at Boros before. Actually, I don't. I think I've ever really seen one in the game um, other than outside of like events so that was new to me kind of crazy definitely was not expecting that um, and that's why I was shooting at it when I should just let it uh, kill me immediately and should have stopped shooting at it and wasting my pet on him because I know I can't kill him but uh, so yeah if you're, if you're near Boras and you're hunting and or sweating watch out for that level 17 he hits like a truck um, but yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode of hunting. I think I got enough. Um, I might have enough animal muscle oil for a crafting video next time. We will find out. I will I, I will look into that. <laughs> um, but anyways, before you go, I know you're about, you know, you want to get, get on with your day or get on to your next video. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing and watching the videos. I just got an email today. That my channel has hit 50,000 views across all my videos, which a lot of them are Entropy Universe videos. That is a probably the majority of my channel is Entropy Universe. Thank you so much for um, supporting me, watching my stuff, hitting that like button, and of course subscribing. Thank you. I'm super appreciative, and I'm going to keep putting out content Entropy Universe and other video game stuff. So I look forward to hearing from you guys in the future. Of course, drop your questions and comments down below. And until next time, guys, you have a good one.